What's up y'all, today I'm going to be showing you a really quick overview of the barn and how I edited it and kind of the things I did. Just really quick though, because it's not that long. So just jump right in here. Um, you have your intro with um, my stepmom, Kelly, or Susan in the in the thing. She's talking. Um, and then you have your audio, your, your soundtrack that kind of comes in. And, Gives you that creepy little vibe, whatever. And then you have the title here. The title that kind of bleeds in, the barn that kind of bleeds in. And it took me so long to realize how to do this little effect. The way I had to do this is I had to go into Photoshop and I had to type out the barn, center it, and make it 1920 by 1080. And then I had to select the text, just the text, and delete that. So then you have, you have a black background and then you have the text is transparent. And then you bring that, bring that image into your program, your video editing program, and you turn it to screen, and then you have your blood effect that can kind of drip down. So that's how I did that. Not too hard, it just took me a little while to figure out. And then this little shake right here, that is a plug-in from, um, what is it called? Red Giant Universe, it's the camera shake. You just kind of have a crazy camera shake to, and, um, another sound effect that kind of comes in there to to scare you or whatever. I'm going to I'm going to show you every individual sound that I have because none of the audio from the actual like real life thing of my dad walking was used. Everything was recorded separately. The footsteps, the dogs, the wind blowing, the door opening, all that. So I'm going to show you real quick. So you have your wind blowing. Here's your wind blowing. And then you have your dog's barking. And you kind of added like a reverb effect to it so it sounds like it's in the distance and you, you gotta mix all that properly. And I think I had that one on the right channel. Or I have, you gotta, you gotta switch them between the left and right speakers. And then you have your footsteps, of course, which sound horrible on their own. They're really like, they cut in and out. Um, and then, your soundtrack's just, just continuing to go. And you have, you know, some sounds of footsteps approaching. And then you have the sound of the barn door opening right here. Funny story, it was like 12 o'clock at night. The first night I made this, before we filmed it again, I don't know what that was. And I went out there and was recording with my boom mic and headphones on and a recorder. And I was like recording me walking and the barn door opening and scuffing on the concrete. It was so scary because I had to cut the barn light off because it makes this weird like bzzz, that noise. And it was getting in the way of the audio and I had to cut it off. And as soon as I cut it off, it was pitch black dark. It was so scary, but I got through it and I didn't die. I kept imagining the little thing coming out from the corner of the barn. Anyways, so then you have, you know, your barn door opening and you have a little like kind of squeak there and you know then you of course have your random sound effects and when it goes outside again you hear the wind and dogs barking when it shows the view from outside oh, oh, oh. wind you know because you're outside and you just have your scuffs and your feet, whatever. Um, and then when it comes, when the dude is here, you have obviously your dog's barking and your wind is, is louder than it was before. It's just louder because you see the scary guy and it's just that, that stuff that kind of freaks you out. And then when the scary guy comes, when the scary guy comes, I kind of, it's hard to hear this but it's really kind of creepy. I, I have this growl that I can do pretty well when I worked at the haunted house. I kind of developed it and it goes kind of like that. It's kind of weird when I just do it and randomly, but it fits well within the horror film and to like a horror film. And so I have the sound of that here and I, and I drop the, the, um, the pitch of it to make it kind of deep. So when he comes, when he comes around the corner, of course, you'd hear that growl. And I also have this little track of me going, Ugh. it was weird, but I think it kind of adds something. 
So you have that kind of weird little track and then you have them together. And then, you know, mixed in with the sounds and soundtracks and all that. It's kind of cool. Um, and then you just have your risers that kind of bring some scariness into it. Um, and so, honestly, you have your outro, and I did the outro the same exact way, photoshopped it, and had the text bleed in, and the same little shit at the end. That's honestly the film. Like, that's, it's very quick, very simple, not many cuts at all, no fancy effect work, anything like that, just color grading, and your widescreen bars, that's it. And so, I really appreciate everyone who's watched this because the fact that you would take the time out of your day to watch the film and then maybe the behind the scenes and maybe even this that means a lot to me and obviously it takes work to make stuff like this and so the fact that you would watch it means so much to me and I hope you guys liked it it was like I said it was spur of the moment didn't even know it was going to be good didn't have a script or anything I just kind of did it um and so yep that's pretty much all I have to say I hope you guys have a good day or a good night or a good morning, whatever, whenever you're watching this. Great. See y'all. I don't know why I said great. That's kind of weird. I'm going to leave now. I'm embarrassed.